This one's going weird. It's going wrong suddenly. This counter is pushing on one, not on two. And I don't know why. You only count... You does it, does, every other block is what you should be sending. Is it receiving a message from somewhere else? See, this one goes. One. Second one push. One. And immediately pushes. That doesn't make any sense. It's saying to do with having the block on top. How is the block on top causing a message? That's really weird. I don't I don't know. Anyway, back to the insanity. I know why. Because this there's there's a slight lie going on here, which is this block is not uh, one square in diameter in in size. You may think it is. It is in fact one plus the block underneath, which is where its sensor lies. So any any block hitting under here gets moved. So by putting this on here it's triggering this sensor interesting huh yeah that's what's going on so I can't put this here we have to do some shenanigans adjustment again uh, this is all just being a blimmin mess right now I'm having trouble so the problem is I want to be able to push these blocks into place when they're ready but it simply isn't working I, 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 I'm, I'm stuck by the organization of what's around here so I'm going to have to scrap a chunk of this which is not uncommon with my builds um, I wonder if we can partly what we can do is we can bring this together sooner I wonder if we can do something where we're, we're taking this lot and putting them in so they're almost ready as this thing's coming across rather than going this way and do that but either way we're going to do a drastic readjustment here which means deleting all this lot okay let's try something a little bit different Okay, I'm, I'm blocked from here, but the idea is interesting. Yeah, I thought I was being clever by having these things pull apart, to pull open to things drop in, but I'd have to have them positioned differently. For example, I could have this one here and then it wouldn't be in the way. And it could be that these are not the ideal positions for them to be dropping into anyway.
hits here, it drops down, but it still can't move on from there. Okay, fine. I might still be able to get around that using conveyors from above or something. So what I'm thinking is Again, I'm not saying it's pretty, I'm just trying to get something to work here. Right now. So well, that sensor's on the wrong side of this, right? That should drop onto there. I could also drop this sooner as well. I could have the sensor back this way. I don't know why I'm worried about this refinement. It's not really necessary right now, but there you go. The speed of delivery of things is probably more the issue still. No, I didn't trigger at all because it's not in the right place. I'm managing it in pairs rather than trying to draw all together. So as that arrives in there, then we move on to the next one. We repeat repeat the process over there. Is what I'm thinking. We don't have to rotate, we just have to place these things differently. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe. And then when the second one arrives, we need to do a counter or something to make this move on once the second one's ready. We've still not welded them, have we? Oh, I want to check something actually. Um, hmm. If I move it on, will that? My always my always my concern with this is if is if this block continues on here this one will fall out the back because it's not be it's not welded to it so I've had a f have I made a fundamental mistake in how I do this I probably have maybe I shouldn't be letting these drop down at all Otherwise I come along here and then the blocks get pushed in, but this has to be rotated in that case. <laughs> what do I do with you? What do I do with you? You still have some welding going on here at some point. The other way of managing the welding is we take the things sideways. For example, you you would have for the first two you drop in this side and this side and you have a pair of welders on the side that would do do the job for you for the other one without rotating the block what you do is the block comes along you drop in this one and this one these uprights that upright that upright and then you take it sideways through some welders and back around onto here as long as you have to feed in from the front That might make things easier but also how do we progress how do we send the device on once the second block arrives okay I think I'll start doing this in pairs forget this for now we'll be dropping into here and here we need to drop into this position and this position is what we need to do
In fact, we don't even really need this one here at all to expose. As this comes in second, we don't need this here. We only need to delay the first one. Because by the time it gets here... Then it moves on. Yeah? Okay, let's, we can clean this up as well. We can put this sensor over on this side. monstrosity um, and then when this arrives in Forget the world is for a second. When we're enough to push it further on and then when it hits here we have a pair of welders on both sides it all started so well it's like any of my designs they start to degrade at a certain point in construction I think it's a matter of big picture type things that I need to have. I've not got the big picture going on. Oh, you fool. If I if I was able to envision even more of it all working together, or rather working together accurately, because I think that's the problem. I don't... I can... I, it's like, like being good at chess or something like that. It's how many moves you can see ahead. My poor brain cannot see enough farm, enough moves ahead make a really good job. How did you not go forward? Because <laughs> you're in the wrong way. This is what I mean. It's just so stupid. Come on now, me. It's not that hard to do. It's just a matter of... I think I need some lunch. I think that's what I need. No, it's back here, fool. I think I need a cookie. I need to eat something. Oh, hold on. Now I'm seeing the wrong thing. It could be. I'm now detecting that one. got a mistake in here. No, I've got to have a gap there. You've got to have a gap there, you fool. Otherwise it can't slide into the hole, can it? Doesn't matter actually, I think that triggers because it doesn't do it for long enough. There we go. Moves it on. Okay. Okay, okay. So we need a rep repetition of this over here, but we need to drop them into... Get rid of this. But instead of these two, it needs to drop into this one and this one. Mm. 
We've now also got to allow for the extra height. This. One, two, three. God, it's already four high, isn't it? On that side. That's interesting. That's, a, that's an interesting problem there. We've got to go up one. We've got more time to do it because as we have. Just because, okay. So we've got more time because uh, these blocks are still heading over this way. Three. And then that one. That will not work. One, two, three. That'll work. Okay, that's the splitter. Oh. Uh, this one needs to delay on it. And we delay it by... There's a second one. There's a second way to delay. It'd be cool if it didn't. No, it doesn't need to delay, and so sadly. Fundamental error again here, possibly. Right, at that point there, we have another sensor down here. Is this too soon? It might be too soon, in which case this object, this upright will drop before it needs to. We can worry about that in a minute. Time for the spaghetti! Little bit of wire spaghetti, eh? Gives you a good feeling to make some wire spaghetti. Again, right now, I just want to make it work. I'm just checking I've not made a fundamental error somewhere along the way at this, at this stage in the proceedings. Okay, so if it... Ah, crap, look at this one arriving. Look at this little git here. He's going to ruin it all, isn't he? Crap. It's just doing it too fast. Do I need to put a delay on these things? Do I need to stack them up? And this part is not particularly slow. You know? It's not a very slow... 
Okay, so when this when things like this start to go wrong, and it is usually at this stage of the proceedings where I'm like late into the build and I'm like I'm almost I think I'm almost done, and then something goes wrong with the, how fast it it all occurs. Um, usually it's either because I've made a a miscalculation in how things are processed. Or, uh, like I'm cutting something up in the wrong way. Or I'm doing something too slow. And I don't think I am. We could possibly make this a little faster, but I don't think so. I don't think this is especially slow. Whatever method we used here to do this is probably going to be quite slow. Do four cuts like that. Oh, no, I can't do that. Shoot. I said anything about dropping it down, but if I drop it down, I'll cut through all the blocks. If I drop through some, through some cutters, that's just stupid. That's why you would have discarded that idea, me. We have to slow this down, but if we slow it down a little bit, it will still it will still be going too fast for this part here. So what do I do? Do I have to f speed this up? Can I even do that? I mean, what I can see here... What I could say is we could possibly make it slightly faster by doing this. I should really make another one, you know, make another build, make a copy of this plan rather than messing around like this, but there we go. Oh, it cut too high? Really? Okay. Cut it to pieces. Uh, because there's a delay. What if I did this? Is that too fast? That makes it very slightly faster. The other answer is that the slowdown, and we've made a slight improvement, the other is the slowdown is here because the way I'm doing the split is inefficient. So the trouble is, here, okay, so wait, the other way of doing this is we make this a, 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 two, a, a three counter. Yeah, so two, the two first ones come over here. And then the third gets sent over this way. The problem is the fourth item. Because the fourth one gets has to get redirected. Count to three here. Back to the original problem I was thinking about when I first started to build this bit over this side. Right, let's see if this works. Okay, so we have a four counter, a three counter, and a two counter. As the blocks come, as, as the groups of four come through, the fourth one will always get shoved over to here and then end over on, on this side. We want three and four over here. This will count to three. I mean, it does. Number three will also get shoved over here, over to this side, to be the second placement. Uh, both of these will be ignored. Ones and twos will be ignored, and then they'll get split up here to go into. I might even better simplify this, actually. I might be able to. We'll see about it afterwards. Let's get it working first. Okay, now... One, two, three, four are coming this way. Here they are. Here comes the block. Not bad timing. Okay. When this one hits... We want a sensor here. 
And when that happens, we have a lurking piston. Problem there. That one's getting pushed off. Let's watch that again. It's the speed of it all again, isn't it? I mean, we can't get around it. Oh, oh, no, of course it's be no, I'm being stupid, it's being left behind. So has that not gotten welded? I forgot the welder's in the wrong place. I have got the damn welder's in the wrong place. Look, I'm being stupid again. They need to be this high. You dummy. I couldn't work out what was happening if it was another block falling down from above. No. It was not. Again, it, it, so this is the point in the build where I'm doing things more ad hoc and less planned. I'm just doing stuff. Throwing it together. Throwing it at the wall. Point there. Is when? No, copy that one. <laughs> Hold on. It works repeatedly. <laughs> yes, yes, I can. I can feel the suffering emanating through the internet. This is this is the bit I wait for. It's it's enjoyable to complete to complete something. It's also enjoyable to know the suffering that you're going through in watching, looking at the horror that I have created. I know it's it, it's it's a win-win for me really. It's a win-win. <laughs> it's for you. I have no idea. Okay, so we've now now we've done this. Now is the is the cleanup. It's the gussying, the gussying session. What we need to do. I, can I it's working. I, I, I the, the timing is quite finicky on some of this. I don't want to play around with it too much. But we're going to tidy this up and look at some of the timings and see what I can remove in terms of blocks. We don't need this many blocks in here for a start. For example, that one can go. It will still reach to here and keep on progressing. So we'll we'll be doing that kind of thing over here. Okay, right, bring you back in a moment. I think we might be re reaching the limit on what I can do with this. Which is not terrible. Not a terrible thing to happen. As if it still works, I've not broken it in some way. Oh, it's getting quite close on those, isn't it? 
Is it going to catch up? Doesn't quite catch up. It nearly does though, doesn't it? It's a near run thing. Oof. This one wasn't that hard in lots of ways. The the being able to limiting some of my options by having the things on the bottom, and then also uh, the speed with which objects were coming in, the supplies were coming in, was what was tricky there mostly. Uh, average as usual. That's what I usually expect. Uh, um, cycle score is still quite fast, which is I'm happy with. But then most people are around that. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm where I usually am. I'm where I usually am as far as that goes. Not terrible. A space boy or a space buoy? You prefer? Space boy. Let's have a look at a space boy. What's a space boy look like then? Oh, oh, it's all cut. It's all colourful. You imagine that flashing out in space, can't you? Uh, here somewhere? Can I go out right here? I oh, can't. Um, what, what are the supplies that we've got coming in? We have a great big block. And a little diddle to go on top. Hold on a second. Oh, that's interesting. Look, we've got... The thing is only... Oh, we're going to do some chiselling. We're going to chisel out the outside and then plonk that on top. And then colour it in. But colouring in different colours on two sides. That's interesting. Oh, I've got an idea already for that. Yeah. Got an idea. It's a terrible idea already. <laughs> yes, they all are. But there we go. A little bit more Infinity Factory for you. To, just, to, just to leave you tearing what let's, what's left of your hair out. <laughs> Scattering it all over your phone or keyboard. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. If you want more of this nonsense... I hope I'll see you again next time. Take care.